This is the first wheel of a pair that I've been asked to do some work on. Now um, I haven't rebuilt these wheels, the owner has and he's asked me to true them and um, set the offset that he gave me a note of and uh, so that's what I've done. I've um, trued it both side to side and radially and I've got the offset uh, as he specified um, and we're just going to have a look. I'll pick the camera up and we'll have a look. I've got the, um, the dial gauge there set up and um, one rotation of the clock face. I hope we can see that. There's a bit of a glare actually. There we are. One rotation of the clock face is a millimetre. So apart from the blip, we're well within half a millimetre on that one. Now I'll just um, set the gauge up so we can see the side to side run out. There we go. I'll just hold the camera on the tripod there. Let's see. Now apart from the blip again, where the weld is, we're well within half a millimetre disregarding the blip which is literally the blink of an eye so um, I'm happy with that as well. I'll put the uh, camera back here a moment, take that away and we'll play some music. There's 36 spokes in this wheel so 18 aside. Let's go with them. in there. Now the ones underneath, a bit harder to do. There we are. 18 of those, they're all playing pretty even sort of sounding tones to my non-musical ears. So that's that taken care of. But I'm going to zoom in now and uh, hopefully explain something that's going on here because I don't think this rim and this hub are compatible with one another. Now whether the camera will pick it up, I hope it will, but notice how there's a very slight bow in the spoke there, sort of going like that, and its corresponding opposite is doing the same in the opposite direction. In fact, I'll hold the camera down here zoom out a little. Hopefully we'll be able to see that but where the spoke nipples come through the rim is actually the spokes start trying to bend away from the angle the direction that the nipples are pointing in and that is because the holes in the rim are not drilled at quite the angle that the spokes want to go at to meet the hub and it's the same on the other side as well. In fact, it might be possible to see that one quite clearly. Um, the bend away from the spoke nipple. Now, first of all, I thought maybe the guy had got the rim on the wrong way round. I.e., if he flipped it over, with this being a half width hub, perhaps the spokes would have all lined up nicely with their holes in a dead straight line. But looking at the direction of the bend in the spoke for the other side, I'd say this rim may have actually been for a full width hub. This is a half width hub. See the different diameters on either side? That's a half width hub. I think this rim has possibly been for a full width hub of a diameter in between the two diameters we got on this half width hub. It's okay, it'll work, and uh, it won't. I don't think it'll cause any problems. In fact, I've seen lots of bikes, if you look closely at the wheels, when they've had their wheels rebuilt or whatever, it's surprising the number of machines you'll see that have got this thing going on. And um, it's not really a structural danger or anything, but um, ideally the spokes should be aimed in a dead straight line to the hole in the uh, hub that they're intended for. Um, as, as I say, I considered early on that maybe this rim should have been flipped over the other way 
and that might have sorted it but uh, looking at it more and thinking about it as I say I think this rim was probably intended for something else with a full width hub of a diameter a little smaller than this but it's not a problem the wheel will work well for the owner and uh, it's trued up and ready to go and now I've got to do his rear wheel which uh, we'll also have a look at when I finished and see how that one went.